Hey everyone, Sweet Johnny Cage here, back with another guide for Resident Evil 3 Remake. This time I'm going to show you how to beat the game on hardcore difficulty with an S rating. In order to get an S rating, we need to beat the game in under 1 hour 45 minutes and save a maximum of three, uh, 5 times, sorry. It was 3 in RE2. Uh, so 1 hour 45, 5 saves. I will not be using any infinite ammo weapons and I will not be using any bonus items that are purchased from the shop. And that's it. We're gonna start a new game, play on hardcore, not nightmare, haven't done those yet. Uh, we are gonna be getting a lot of stuff in this in this uh, in this run, but we're gonna be skipping the Magnum. Uh, we're gonna make some strategic choices. Okay. So the intro sequence of this game, you really just aren't doing much. Just kind of holding forward, skipping cutscenes. That's kind of it. You do want to try to move as fast as possible through here. Um, this is a really tight window, being honest. Um, you know, it makes me wonder if... Uh, it, it makes me wonder, like, using infinite weapons, like, is is the S timing made for that, in a way? Because the, the timing is really, really tight. Um, that said, I mean, you know, I'm sure professional speedrunners will start doing this a lot faster, so... Um, yeah, I think we'll get, you know, close to 145. Um, my previous time is 151. I realized that we could skip the Magnum. We could skip a bunch of things, um, including just some enemy encounters. Like, we could walk past quite a few things um, that I wasn't walking past before. Uh, and, you know, I could definitely have a quicker nest than I've been having. So I'm confident we can do this. Um, normally, for these types of runs, I would do this, like, with uh, W split show my splits and my times. Um, unfortunately, in order to record this in maximum quality, I can't do that sort of overlay stuff that I would normally do on my stream. Uh, so I'm just gonna be doing like a commentary run. I will put the route and the times um, in the video description. I'll do that for sure, so you can follow along there. But there won't be a, an on-screen overlay showing the times and the splits. Um, so yeah, kind of, kind of a sacrifice for quality. Um, maybe one day the technology will allow me to do that, but HDR is pretty finicky, and uh, OBS doesn't even support it, and if I wanted to put all those overlays into uh, Avermedia Rec Central, I could not record in HDR. So, want to want to make sure we have a full, full quality video. Um, yeah, so we're just going to do a commentary run. So coming up here, we are going to do our first... Um, it's, not, it's not a dodge, we're just going to avoid zombies, but we have to move in a very specific way. Uh, once the cutscene starts, we're going to cancel it, and then as soon as we spawn, we're going to go to the left... Um, and that's because a bunch of zombies are going to spawn right in front of us, and if we move anywhere towards them, we're going to get bit and die. So let's go to the left here. Avoid these guys. Go into the restaurant. We're going to pick up a gun. And then once we do that, we're going to pull the U-turn and then run the other way. So, uh, like I mentioned, we can only save five times. So we are going to save before every Nemesis fight or in every Nemesis boss fight, so that's four times. And then we're also going to save uh, before we finish the hospital with Carlos. So I like to save before the gauntlet. It can rarely get out of control. Um, I have died to it once, uh, so that's kind of like a safety save. So in this warehouse we have Dario. Um, if you want, you can exhaust his dialogue by just walking up to the trailer that, he's, that he hides in a bunch of times. He has like four or five lines of dialogue. Once you do that, uh, I'm not sure if it's a trophy, but it's definitely available in the records menu, and you get some points for it, so exhaust this dialogue if you like, if you haven't already. Okay, so once we're outside, we can actually run. Alright, we're going to crawl through the fence, and then we're going to come up to our next zombie avoidance section here. We're going to walk up to the elevator, that's going to spawn a couple zombies, and then we're just going to like walk around them. You don't have to... You shouldn't have to dodge them or anything. You could literally just walk around. Yeah. Let him kind of shamble towards you, and then just walk around him. And once you press the button, that's the cutscene. So don't worry about him like coming back to bite you or anything. Okay, helicopter's going to get blown up. And then we're going to try to start the car. Nemesis is going to menacingly walk towards us. I noticed that there seems to be a biohazard symbol on the steering wheel for the horn. 
I'm not sure if that's a fire has a Zimbril or if it's something else. Just keep holding R2 here. Once the prompt goes away, you can skip the cutscene. Okay, and just let Nemesis walk towards you. You don't even have to move or anything. Moving backwards will actually slow this down a little bit. And that's the escape sequence. So now we are going to spawn with Carlos in the subway station. If you are looking for Mr. Charlie statues, you'll want to run back up this staircase right here. Just run back up there. There's a Mr. Charlie statue between two newspaper vending machines on the ground. Um, and your only opportunity to get it is here. So we're going to just follow Carlos. We're going to do a little trick. Um, if you can't pull it off, it's not a big deal. It doesn't save you really any time. Uh, may save you like a second or two, which is important, but you know it's not the end of the world if you don't get it. You're not meant to get it. Um, Carlos, when you are paired up with him like this, he runs faster than you do. Like he, he actually runs. He doesn't do this like weird jog that they have been doing since RE2. Um, but you can stand in front of him and sort of like ride him in a way, and uh, he'll boost you towards the subway car. So I'm gonna try to stay towards the middle here. Yeah, see, so he'll kind of boost you. He, he pushes you off. He's got, like, a round hitbox there. So, you just get a few extra steps. All right, now the game's going to begin. So, we're going to head to the surface. And then we are going to start picking up some herbs, some ammo. And uh, we're going to make our way to the fire hose. That's our first stop. You can skip these radio calls. Uh, they force you to walk, so you always want to skip them. Uh, they do waste quite a bit of time, because they also prevent you from opening doors. Okay, so you want to go ahead and combine these herbs, or combine the gunpowders, combine the herbs, and then we're actually going to put it all away. Okay, so put those herbs away. I'm not going to use that hip pouch, because that's one that I purchased from the shop. Let this zombie kind of walk towards you a bit, and then just... Yeah, walk around him. Don't forget to pick up the bullets that are on this barrel over here. And then we're just gonna walk past these zombies. May have to dodge this one. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right, now we're gonna walk over here, trigger a cutscene, and turn around and trigger another one, and blow up this barrel. Note the breakable box right there. Uh, we're gonna get the gunpowder that's in there. Okay. So once the third zombie in the back there, this guy's shambling over here, once he gets in range of the barrel, that's when you want to blow it. Should be right here. And be sure to pick up the gunpowder that was in the box. All right, so we're gonna go through the diner. That's the plan. Be sure to shoot that generator to stun these zombies. Although it didn't stun this guy on the left here for some reason. Pick up the gunpowder here. And then go through the diner. Pick up the bullets. And now we're going to wait for this zombie to get kind of close. These other guys are going to wake up, blow the barrel, and then that kills all of them. Okay. So now we're going to get the fire hose, and we're also going to pick up a hand grenade. Grenades are very, very important in this game. The reason for that is because they down Nemesis in one hit. Uh, at least on Hardcore. I have not played on Inferno or anything just yet. Um, but on hardcore, they one grenade will do it. So very, very important. Whenever the game gives you a grenade, expect a nemesis fight shortly thereafter. Okay, I pick up the fire hose. We're gonna combine these two gunpowders that we have and combine them with our box of bullets. We're gonna come in here. Oops, nope, we're not. We don't want that one. Oh God, Jesus! Pick up this grenade. And then you want to pick up this gunpowder. That thing has a big range. <laughs> I really wanted me to pick that lock. Okay, so now we're gonna make a quick, quick stop in the pharmacy. Pick up some high-grade gunpowder. Hug the right here, pick up this green herb, pick up this gunpowder, combine it with the other one. Okay, and then we wanna pick up a box of bullets back here. 
And then that zombie that woke up should be on the right. Should be able to see his vest through the window. Yep. Great. All right, now we are going to go for the safe for the dot site. It's going to be a zombie through the door that we open, so just be ready to start shooting. Just be ready to start blasting. The combo here is 937. Okay, so we're going to open this. Grab the dot site. Combine it. Very good. Okay, so what we're actually going to do here as well, we're going to grab a gunpowder out of this drawer. Okay, very good. And now we're going to head up here. We're going to grab a red herb, combine it with the green herb that we picked up in the pharmacy. Okay. Okay, and then we're going to blow up this barrel here and pick up another gunpowder. Great job. All right, now we're going to put out the fire with the fire hose and then get the bolt cutters. Okay, once that's done, pick up the bolt cutters. Okay. Wait for this little discussion or whatever it is, the, the rummaging. It's weird that you don't hear the gunshot. Oh, right, actually, you see it in the cutscene. It's been a while since I watched the cutscene. All right, follow Mikhail out the door. Pick up this little box of bullets over here. It may seem like we're getting a lot of ammo. I'm doing it on purpose. It's because this next section is, is very difficult and can require a lot of ammo. So for these dogs, you want to try to hit the first one as it comes running. Just to slow it down. And then once they get in range of the generator, hit the generator. And then you can just run past the dogs. Okay, doing good. In this next section here, uh, there are three zombies in the building. We're going to try to kill them. Um, they sometimes pose a problem, especially because of the way they walk. So we want to hope for a critical shot. Good enough. There's going to be a big guy coming. She's dead. Big guy coming down the stairs. There he is. Okay. Stab him to death. All right. Very good. All right. Right up here, we're going to grab this red herb. Gonna grab a hip pouch. Very good. Uh, feel like combine herb and lockpick. Okay, yeah, we're good. We're good here. All right, so we're gonna pick up these two green herbs. We're gonna combine one of them with a red herb. And then before we pick up the lockpick, we're just going to grab a box of bullets right here. Again, ammo is very important. Okay. Pick up the lockpick. And this next section is very difficult. Uh, I've had a lot of runs just die here. So don't feel bad if yours does. Just retry. You're only about 15 minutes in. Pick up the lockpick. Yeah, we are 12.46 in right now. Pick the lock, and then we want to run all the way to the back right away. Oh, first, we've got to heal, actually. It's a mass triangle, and then just heal using the green herb. If you've taken damage up to this point, heal using a, a red and green. Or, you know, if you're on danger or something. It, you can actually come here on danger, get infected, and then just use the red-green, and you'll be fine. 
Oh, wow, that is new. Okay. Now we gotta trip this breaker. Once we do that, one's gonna come out of a wall right behind us. So be careful. Go through there. Good job. Break open this box for some additional ammo. Okay, drop down. And then you just wanna keep watching your back. Dodge. Oh, God, we're infected again. This sucks. What really sucks is we're about to throw up and get hit again. Alright, so we actually missed... We missed a breaker back here. Yeah, this section is really, really challenging. Oh my god, I can't believe this thing won't die. So we got one more breaker. start running. One's going to come out of a wall here. Just be careful. Okay. We are home free. Alright, so dirty, but it's okay. That's a really, really challenging section. 1530, that's okay time. Um, obviously try to do with less damage, but your only defense there is a pistol, so it's tough. All right, so we're gonna do is we are gonna skip the ammo that's in these lockers over here. We don't really need it. There's a box of handgun bullets and a gunpowder. We're gonna skip it. Take out your grenade because Nemesis is gonna jump you and one grenade will down him. Okay. Okay, pick up the case and then just run. Truth be told, I've never actually tried that before. I've never tried to throw the grenade and then get jumped. I'm so glad that worked. Otherwise, I would have had to restart. So yeah, you can chuck it and then and then get jumped. And you're okay. All right. Be sure to pick up the shotgun shells once you're inside here. That case was uh, an extended magazine for the pistol. So, ideally, you wouldn't equip the extended magazine until uh, you run out of ammo, because it's a free 33 bullets, but we're never gonna get that far down in the next several minutes when we need the inventory space. Let's go ahead and combine that with your pistol. Uh, heal up if you need, I'm just gonna use a first aid spray. Um, and then keep what you have in your inventory here, so pistol, knife, bullets. Actually, we could drop the bullets, we're not gonna need those and shotgun shells in the lockpick. Do not go near the ladder. Nemesis will jump you. Try to hug the right here, and Nemesis may not drop. So yeah, he, he would drop there, but instead he's gonna drop in front of us now. And you can just shoot the generator and stun him. And you won't have to deal with him. Okay, so now we're headed back to the subway office, just like we did before. We need to be very fast in this next alleyway because Nemesis can jump us again. So you want to try just shooting this guy already? Ah, it's okay, it's okay. It's not a big deal. Okay, cool. So heading to the office, we're going to grab the shotgun. And I believe there's a first aid spray in here. So that actually helps us out. Alright, so pick this. 
Yep, first aid spray. Go ahead and use that. And then cut the bolts for the shotgun. Okay. I'm going to skip a hip pouch. I'm not going to solve the jewel puzzle. I realize that that kind of wasted a couple minutes, and we don't really need it. Okay. Go ahead and come in here. And then you want to pick this lock for some shotgun shells. And then we're going to solve the railway puzzle. The solution to this is FAO2, RAO3, SAO2. Damn, I passed it. Okay. Carlos, it's me. I finished him putting him somewhere here. Chill, you are amazing. Tough as nails, too. Hurry back to the station. We'll make sure the subway's ready to depart. Actually, being honest, I am going to get that hit pouch because it's going to make the sewers a lot easier. Now that I'm thinking about it out loud. So this guy hit him twice with a shotgun. Three times. Sometimes it's twice, sometimes it's three times. Let this cop kind of go near you and then just wait for the door to close and you can you can exit. Okay. Let this zombie shamble on over. And then just leave. Okay. Cool. So we're going to pick this lock, get another hand grenade, because we're going to have to fight Nemesis again. And then we got to get a couple items in this safe room. Pick up the fancy box. Pick up the green herb. Store them. Uh, store your knife as well. And yeah, that's going to be it. So what you want to do is you want to... Shoot the generator and then toss a grenade. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. So that... That kind of sucked. Anyway. Yeah, now these zombies are going to be near us. So just try to back them up. We're gonna break into Toy Uncle, get the next fancy box, and then go into the grocery store and get a couple other things. Let's go ahead and break into Toy Uncle. Get the fancy box. Turn around. Go into the grocery store. Pick this lock. Oh, break the chain. Sorry, I thought it was a lock pick. I was like, why is it not working? Okay, head inside. Get the next fancy box, get the first aid spray, and then get the high-grade gunpowder. Okay? And now we're going to leave. Just be mindful of the zombies, be mindful of this cop, you got to walk around him. Nemesis is probably going to drop. Nope, okay. You want to cut this lady down. There's going to be a cop to our left. Oh, good, and Nemesis. That's always fun. Honestly, a bit of a surprise. Okay, so it's gonna be a nemesis zombie here. You just want to buck him once, and then you can you can go through. That was honestly a little surprising that nemesis showed up there. I think it's because it, I took a little while. All right, we no longer need the bolt cutters. You could drop the first aid spray. Just take out the third fancy box. Okay, we can open this now. This is gonna be the moderator for the pistol. This is uh, very useful. Open up the three fancy boxes for the three jewels. And then we're going to place the jewels in the puzzle right in front of us. And then that's going to give us a grenade. Yeah, this, this puzzle is actually very helpful. It's a grenade, a stock, and a pouch. So, yeah, I was kind of silly for thinking we could skip this because the grenade is very useful. All right. Next up is the stock. Okay. And then the hip pouch. Okay, now we're going to escape a nemesis one more time. Let's go ahead and combine your stock with your shotgun. Okay, I'm going to take a healing item. Even though I think I just put it away. And then we're going to pick one more lock for some shotgun shells. 
Okay, this next nemesis chase is kind of tough because he spawns behind you. Uh, so we're either going to take a hit or it's going to go really well. We'll see how it goes. So what we ideally have to do is just drop the grenade right away. Yep, perfect. Pick up the box. Pick up this first aid spray and then just book it. He's going to be down for a little while. We should be able to escape, no problem. Open the door. Okay, and then just head for this grate back here. There is a box of bullets. We're going to skip it. Just keep mashing X. You got to do this three times. Great. Okay, now we're in the sewers. That went really, really well. I've never actually dropped the grenade there. I always just try to run from him. All right, so now that we're in the sewers, uh, we do need to do some kind of quick thinking here. I have a message to myself on Facebook. <laughs> uh, okay. Just pick up everything in here. There's some useful stuff. Okay. Now from here, we no longer need our handgun. We can drop all healing. We need the lockpick. We should definitely keep... Um, everything else. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pause and check this message that I have for myself to make sure that my inventory is correct. Pardon me one sec. We're at 24 minutes, 30 seconds, making very good time. Okay, so we should have the knife, the lockpick, the shotgun, and the shells. The... Where's our knife? Knife, lockpick, shotgun, shells. That's more shells, and the red herb was picked up in here. Okay. Cool. So this is more shotgun shells. It's the last drop we're going to get from Nemesis. And now we can move on. So the only enemy we're going to be facing in the sewers are Hunter Betas. And Hunter Betas are very deadly. Um, and we're going to skip two of them. And we're going to kill the rest. Uh, they take a number of shotgun shells to kill. Um, so yeah, just keep that in mind. Two flame rounds um, and then a varying number of shotgun shells somewhere between five and seven. Do we get to pick up the hand grenade here? The first beta that we're going to run into is right over here. And the strategy for them when you're using the shotgun is to shoot them and then back up, shoot them back up, shoot them back up, shoot them back up. That's, that's the general strategy. Okay, once they start wiggling around, that means they're dead. Now we're gonna go get the grenade launcher. There's a couple other items. It's actually just one other item. It's, a, it's an explosive powder. Okay, pick up the explosive B. When you combine that with A, it becomes flame rounds. Okay, great. Then you can leave. We're still going to be using our shotgun because we want to do our best to conserve our uh, grenade rounds. They are very, very powerful. There's going to be another beta creeping around this corner. Never going to make that noise. Before. Sound like a dog. That's dead. Go ahead and take out your knife. Because we are now going to go behind the waterfall like we're playing Legend of Zelda. Gonna break up in this box, pick up a gunpowder, pick up some more shotgun shells. Great. Go ahead and combine those two gunpowders and then combine your shells. Okay, cool. So we're gonna have one more beta here. You kind of want to let him take a step towards you. And then uh, that's when you want to back the hell up. Alright, so he's dead. 
Okay. The next two we're just going to skip. Um, we're going to fire one flame round and then skip the rest. Pick up these flame rounds, and then you want to load them into your grenade launcher to free up another slot. Pick up the battery. Okay. Then we want to pick up this green herb, combine it with the red herb from the save room. Okay. Pick this lock. Get gunpowder A. Okay. Then we're going to leave. That's all we need in here. We're going to leave that other gunpowder. We don't really need it. So, you can just walk right past these guys. However, I kind of don't trust it. So, I just dump one shell into them and kind of call it a day. It conserves shells, but it also gives you the escape. It gives you, a, like, a safe escape, I should say. So, once it opens its mouth, fire, and then just walk right past it. It flips out for quite a while. There's going to be one more here. Do the same thing. Just shoot it once. And then walk past it. Oh, I actually could have picked up that gun pattern. I'm thinking about it. I didn't realize that I didn't actually reload the... Oh, Jill, go up. That happens all the time. Um, I didn't realize that I didn't fully reload the grenade launcher. That's okay. All right, so up here we're going to place this battery in the door. Okay. And we're going to come across another beta we need to kill. When it's writhing around, you want to come over here, unlock this door, and then go retrieve your battery. And then the beta should be done writhing around. And now you can kill it. So two flame rounds will kill it. And then place your battery. Come in here, we're gonna get another hit pouch as well as an explosive A. Great. Pick up your next hit pouch and then you can leave. Oh wait, there's something more in here. Oh yeah, there's a gunpowder in here, right. Okay, don't forget your battery. I forget it all the time, so be sure to grab that. And now we can leave the sewers. So from here, you want to equip your shotgun. That's going to be the next weapon we're going to use. Okay. If you're looking for Mr. Charlie's, there's one above that lamp right there on the ridge, or on the ledge. Okay, so at this point, out of the sewers, we're at 3104. Doing pretty well. Go ahead and climb this ladder. Nemesis is going to grab us. Yep, there he is. Don't worry about it. We can just run past. It's not a big deal. These zombies won't actually do anything to us. Okay. Now we just have to shoot one zombie with the shotgun to just kind of blow him away. And then once we do that, we can... Uh, we're kind of in the clear here. Okay. Yeah, he's looking for stars. Okay, he's going to jump us here. Right after we drop these boards. Our first save is coming up. So in case you're wondering when that's going to happen. So this, this chase is really just like the intro to the game. It's just kind of a hold forward, skip cutscenes. You're not in a ton of danger. You can die, but you're not really in a ton of danger as long as you know where to go. There's no zombies or anything. I guess we're going to go up this ladder. I don't know why these steel poles are catching fire. <laughs> Doesn't make a ton of sense. Like, they should not have fire on them. That's not how it works. Jump the gap, and then head up. And we're going to save for the first time here.
and we're going to do some inventory management before we do so. Okay, so we're going to dump the grenade. We don't need gunpowder A. Uh, we do not need the knife for this, and we don't need this gunpowder. Uh, we also don't need the lockpick at this point. Okay, so we want the handgun. We want handgun ammo. Uh, we should take another mixed herb, and I think that's it. Yeah, okay, so this fight isn't necessarily super challenging or anything. I gotta change my shortcuts. That's gonna get me in trouble. And then shotgun should be right. Okay, so go ahead and save your game. This is gonna be our first save. Okay, and then head up the ladder. So this fight isn't super difficult. Uh, you actually have a generator to help you in this fight, so be sure to use it. Okay. So the objective here is to shoot the uh, the fuel canister. You can hide behind these pallets while he's cooking, and then he will eventually stop. And that's your cue to just lay into the tank. Keep your dot sight focused on it. There's plenty of healing in the arena. There's a bunch of ammo as well. This ammo's gonna get me in trouble. Oh, wow. Okay, I thought I... Look, like I was caught on something there. Yeah, that's... This is completely my bad here. I shouldn't have gone for that ammo at that point. Yeah, I'm, like, wasting time here. <laughs> Sorry about all that. Oh, God. Keep shooting the tank. Eventually it'll blow. Boom, just like that. Pick up the herb. Pick up the ammo in here, or the green herb in here. And then there's also some shotgun shells over here. And now we're gonna do the second part of the fight, which is admittedly quite challenging. Or not super, super challenging, but. And you may be wondering, why aren't I using grenade rounds? And it's for a really simple reason. It's because he can actually dodge them. He can just, like, literally sidestep them. So it's kind of not worth it in a lot of ways. Kind of just want to stick to the pistol and the shotgun. I saw that coming, too. All right, we got him. Nemesis down. Whew. All right, so 3643, Nemesis down. Carlos, it's Jill. Do you read me? Loud and clear. All right. All right, we're gonna skip this radio com. Definitely don't need to listen to it. Don't forget to pick up this box of bullets over here. Why am I in caution? I don't know why I'm on caution right now. I don't. I feel like I did not get hit. Like I, I got hit a bunch of times in that fight, but I don't feel like I. I took a, a hit after the last one. Maybe I got caught by flames and that put me on caution. Okay, we're just gonna come down here real quick, get some high grade gunpowder. 
Unfortunately, we can't explore parking garage. I really wish they put like the entirety of, of RPD in this game. That would have been so sick. Okay. I, I should not have gone for that ammo in the beginning. Like I should have gotten it at another time, maybe when he was down, but not at that point. That was pretty dumb. So these zombies will not bother you as long as you run past them quick enough. Just don't linger. There's no point. All right, go into Kendo. Okay, pick everything up. There's a shotgun barrel here. Explosive A. Combine that with Explosive B, finally. Skip the cutscene. Whoops. Pick up the key. Oh, my inventory's full. Oh. Pick up the key. Okay, now we gotta do a little bit of inventory management. We can ditch this. We can ditch this. Uh, we can ditch this too. Uh, so we need the lock pick. And the shotgun. We're gonna pick up a red herb. So we don't really need to worry about that. Um, we need the grenade. Okay. So this is what your inventory should look like. Okay, do we still have the knife? That's okay, we got the handgun, that's fine. Okay, cool, so use the key here. And then we can immediately toss the key. Pick up this red herb here. Take out the shotgun, get ready to use it. Fuck two shots into him. And then we're gonna Run into another one of those. This one can swing at you pretty quick. So you want to kind of rush him a little bit. And we're going to go upstairs and get some more explosive rounds. Go ahead and pick the lock. Okay. Take out your grenade. I'm going to heal up to full just, just in case. I mean, the likelihood of me dying here is pretty slim, but... The reason we want the grenade is because we're going to toss it at Nemesis as soon as he spawns. So we got to make a U-turn after we skip the cutscene. Really? Okay, so he's going to go down. And now we're kind of free to just move along. Just kite this zombie over here a little bit. And then just go around him. Nemesis will show up again, unavoidable, on top of a cop car. Nothing you can do about it. It's okay, though. Okay, we do need to avoid rockets, so when the laser is red, that's where it's going. So just kind of just hit dodge three times, and, and you'll be fine. When it's orange, it means he's aiming. And when we get there, we don't need to worry about it. Pick up the first aid spray. Now we're going to leave. I will warn you that if you are on danger health, you cannot escape the toy uncle head. At least I don't think you can. I died to it and like lost a run. So, um, yeah. So, you know, just be a little careful. Uh, but yeah, if you're on danger health, you're, you're going to need to heal or do something. <laughs> That's why that first aid spray is there, actually. All right, so we're running down. The toy uncle head is going to fall. Skip. Do a U-turn, go to the right, and then just book it. Okay. It'll crash. And then Nemesis is going to spawn. Just... Sometimes the generator will, will help you, sometimes it won't. I love the Jill shadows right there, and I love that it's an active shadow, too. You can see the shotgun on her back. The detail in this game is really, really good. I right, so just keep running. Nemesis won't catch you. And now we're finally done with this area of Raccoon City. And it's, a, it's time to go to RPD. Carlos, I know we didn't get off to a great start. Thanks for saying. Hey, 
What I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to check my other time, see how we're. I want I wanted to see how we were doing on time. It's okay though. I feel a lot more confident in this run than I did the other ones. Just saying that much. When do I hit RPD here? So I'm watching my other footage here. I want to see if, if I ever take time of, of when I hit RPD. Alright, anyway, that's okay. Alright, so RPD is loading. I'm on PS4 Pro, it takes a little while. Okay, just gonna run ahead, and then we're gonna take down Brad. You sure? Looks like a cemetery to me. All right, so Brad, just shoot him in the head a bunch. He really won't have an opportunity to get near you, and eventually he'll go down. And around the time he goes down. Tyrell will tell you it's open. Killing Brad gives you his card. All right, so we're gonna ignore that hip pouch. That's an extra one from the shop, so we're not picking that up. Get this green herb. And then just go back over near Tyrell. Or Tyrell, can't remember how he pronounces it. Okay, so RPD is really challenging um, because there's a lot of zombies and you really can't waste time with them. So, yeah. That's kind of the deal here. You also want to do your best to conserve ammo because you're going to use it all during the, the gauntlet in the hospital. Okay. So we're going to insert Brad's key card here, get some ammo. Okay. Skip this cutscene. We now find out how these two officers got killed here and how this officer wound up on a pole or a beam or something. So I'm going to conserve my AR ammo. Nice. Always love a critical. Zombie's going to come through this door. Yikes, okay, that was kind of close. All right, let's pick up this flash grenade. Flash grenades are very important. Pick up this AR ammo. Okay, and then we gotta start killing these zombies here. These guys are going to start trying to bust down the door. And this is actually kind of good for you because it'll create a meat grinder. Just like that. Gonna be another cop. Oh, damn. Okay. No, oh, that was kind of rough. That 
Okay. Yeah, I was wondering where he went. All right, so now that everybody's dead in here, Go ahead and bust open this box, get a first aid spray, use it on yourself for sure. Okay, then we're gonna head into the office here, real quick. Oh, sorry, that's the weapon storage room. Get the dot side out of here. Then we're gonna get a hip pouch. Okay, so the combo here is the same as it was in RE2. It's 9-15-7. By the way, all the combos in this game start with 9. I don't know why. Okay, pick that up. Pick up the handgun bullets. Bullets, bullets. Pick up all this stuff. Great job. Here's a gunpowder over here. Sorry, mag ammo. Or... AR ammo, sorry. Okay, now we can head to the dark room, pick up a couple other things. Go ahead and combine those. All right, and then leave. We don't need anything in here. Our stop is the weapon storage key. gonna be up here. You want to kill this guy. Love a good critical hit. Pick up the key. Come over here. Break open the box. Get yourself some more AR ammo. And then the code here is DCM, just like an RE2. I don't know what that stands for. I thought it was Devil Cry A. I don't know. Anyway. Alright, so... You gotta be very careful. That save symbol right there means that the liquor has spawned on the ground floor. So, liquors, just like, liquors in this game, just like in RE2, are sensitive to sound, so you want to make sure you are walking, not running near them, and of course, don't touch them. Once you get the prompt for the key, go ahead and use it. And then toss the key. And there's three lockers we need to open. It's 104. Oops. 106 and 109. Okay, zombie's gonna wake up behind us. Let's get ready for him. There he is. So we're actually just gonna leave him. We don't need to kill him. Oh, actually, this is kind of dumb. But I want this herb. <laughs> All right, so we gotta be very careful to walk out of here. Do not run because the liquor is still around. The liquor is right where you were facing down that hallway on the left near the vending machines. Be very careful, you still do not wanna run. It's very important, a corpse will drop. And then once you're near there, you can run. I'm sure you could run before that, but I, I don't like to. All right, so go into the steam room. Well, you're gonna find out why it is a steam room. Open this up, this is CAP. It's another flashbang. Pick up the herb, combine it. And then we're going to place the battery inside of the detonator or inside the electronic device, then create the detonator. What we're gonna do now is we are going to throw a flash grenade, stun all the zombies. That stuns everybody in both rooms. So run through. Do a falcon punch. Falcon punch the liquor. Oh, heal. Get to the door. And you're good. Okay, so we're gonna pick up some things here. Go ahead and dump some stuff. You don't need to carry it all. 
We're gonna use Brad's key card one more time, pick up another flash grenade, and these things will carry over to Carlos when you when you get to the hospital. Okay. And that's it. Alright. Just approach the door when you're ready to leave. And that's it, that's RPD. Now we're gonna go fight Nemesis Stage 2. We're gonna save before we do that. Okay. All right. So Jill is once again limping for some unknown reason. I do understand the train crashed, but... You know, she's at full health, so I don't get it. All right. So past this big heavy door. I'm gonna pick some things up. Pick up a first aid spray. Pick up the mine rounds, those are very important. Pick up some more mine rounds. We've got to do a couple quick management things. We don't need the lock pick anymore. Keep the explosive rounds, keep the mine rounds, keep the flame rounds. Uh, do we not have any bullets? Okay, uh, we're actually good with this. Um, oh no, we need the grenade launcher. Duh. Okay, and then save the game. I'm gonna save here. Okay, and we are at 53.07. So we can run past all of these zombies, but we do need to kill the ones in the next room. You can just use an explosive round. You don't have to do anything crazy. Just kind of aim here at the middle, blow them all away, and then head up the ladder. So over here, we're going to pick up some handgun ammo, and we're also going to... Uh, Put together a full herb set. Get the handgun ammo. Get the green herb. And then over here, behind a box or in a box, is a red herb. Okay, go ahead and skip the cutscene and then activate the fight. So the strategy here is just dump as much damage as we can into him until he starts running on the walls and then use mine rounds to knock him off the walls. So at some point you may notice that the camera bugs out and kind of zooms you in. The way to get around that is to just dash it does not have to be a perfect dodge, just dash, that's it. That's all you gotta do. Wow, I went through his legs. You can't fault this game for having bad hitboxes, I'll tell you that. Okay, so we'll start loading in flame rounds. Oh, wow, okay, that, that's weird. I thought I dodged through that. All right, not a big deal. generally like to hit him with a, a new flame round once he's no longer on fire. Uh, the reason for that is because I want the flame round to, uh, you know, be used completely. Because there, there is a ticking damage on it. So we're really just kind of pumping him full of lead right now. That, that's really it. Um, eventually he'll run away. You want to be careful on your reloads. You definitely don't want to reload when he's, like, right when you need to uh, when you need to da dodge him do not reload all right so once he does that big yell that's your cue so you want to place a mine right there and then he'll land some over here all right so there is ammo scattered all over the joint Yeah, 
and there are, there's even additional mine rounds, so just keep that in mind. Keep in mind that there are mine rounds. Let him run around, pick up your ammo. Okay, and then when you're ready, take out the mines. Place one in a strategic location. All right, we don't have time to load the shotgun, so we're just gonna use the pistol. There are additional mine rounds in the field in a cop car. That he will break open eventually. Yep, okay. So they're they're here. There's also more in another cop car. Wow, okay. I'm like full up on ammo, that's kinda crazy. Alright, let's place a mine there. We're gonna reload the shotgun. By the time he lands, it'll be loaded. Keep cycling your weapons as best you can. Okay. Just gonna run away. Do it one more time. I need to stop it in its tracks. That was weird that he woke up that fast. All right, so I think what he's gonna do now is he's actually gonna open up the last cop car for us, which has more more mine rounds in it. He's gonna do some weird 360 move. Cool, we got him. That was actually a really, really quick fight. Glad about that. Okay. Some additional ammo. There's more mine rounds in this cop car. Mine rounds are so important, especially later in the game, when you resume control of Jill and you go into Nest. Mine rounds are incredible. Okay, so we got everything. Good. So now we can leave. That was a really quick Nemesis Stage 2. It was basically perfect. Okay, so we're going to resume control of Carlos now and go through the hospital. Okay. So I do hope, I do hope we're under an hour at this point. I, I think we are. Fifty nine minutes. Great. Couldn't have asked for better. Go ahead and toss that flashbang, toss this, toss this. Uh, we'll keep the knife, we'll keep the pistol. We no longer need that. Toss the grenade. Actually, keep the grenade, we're gonna need that later. No, we can actually toss it for now. We'll pick it up in another save room. We'll just, we'll use this. Okay, great. All right. So, in these waiting rooms, there's gonna be quite a lot of zombies. We do want to kill them. Once they fall, to make sure they're dead with your knife. A couple quick slashes, a couple love taps. She's gonna bust through the door. Nice, love a good critical. Make sure this guy's dead. Of course he's not. He is now. Okay. Very good. We're going to skip the cassette player, the tape recorder. Okay, combine these. Now, we have to strategically get through this room. It's 
kind of tough getting through these rooms because there's so many zombies. Uh, the game really encourages Carlos to be like the last action hero. That's handgun ammo. We're not going to go for that. We don't really need it. Alright, so now that we're through here, we can go upstairs. Don't worry about the body that's about to drop. It's all good. Alright, this guy's going to be out here on a smoke break. We want to kill him. Because he, he'll come alive and bite us either way. Fish him off with the knife. Make sure he's dead. Great. Okay. Okay, so we gotta go over here and get the key. I always, I always do that backwards. All right, come over here, get the key. Gotta jump out of this window. Somehow we don't break our legs. Don't forget the tactical grip as well. Go ahead and equip that. Gives us a bit more stability. Pick up the key. We're gonna leave that green herb over there. We're gonna leave that for Jill. Pick up the AR ammo, unlock the door. We're just going to go right back upstairs. Okay. We're also going to head into this save room over here. The end of the hall. We're going to pick up some stuff. So we're going to use the key in this office. There's a box of AR ammo here. Use the key. Toss the key. Very important, only open this far left locker on this side. And make sure you're grabbing the card key. Otherwise, you're going to have to deal with a zombie. And you don't want to do that. Alright, grab the flash grenade out of this one. Okay, and now we're gonna have to encounter our first Hunter Gamma, but we're just gonna skip him. We're just gonna walk right past him. We're gonna Falcon Punch him, or attempt to Falcon Punch him, and then skip him. Okay, very good. Put us on fine. Wow, well, I'm actually glad it put us on fine. That could have gone a lot worse. Head into the nurse's station. We're gonna open up this safe. The combo is nine three. Like I said, every safe starts with nine. And most of them are actually very similar. The first safe is nine three seven. This is just nine three. All right. So I recommend not equipping that double mag just yet. Okay. Uh, sorry. Card key. I just realized I forgot the grenade. It's okay. Should be totally fine. So as you can see in there, there's two Hunter Gammas. We have to deal with them. First, there's a couple of zombies in this room that we got to deal with as well. Go ahead and unlock this door. Now load your double clip. That's 64 free bullets right there. That's why we that's why we wait to do that. Combine your herbs. And then this is it for Carlos. Oh no, there's more mag ammo. Great. So that's it for Carlos in here. What we want to try to do is flashbang into the room. these guys down pick up the audio cassette get out of here safely don't die whoa okay wow that that was close 
probably could have got away with not healing, but I didn't want to risk it. All right, make the jump. Now that we have that, we can then head back to where we need to use the cassette. That went well, considering. Um, yeah, it went well, considering. Um, those guys can... Uh, oof, yikes. So if you flash grenade into the room with the two gammas, when a gamma gets flashed, it starts thrashing around and its claws are still active. So you can literally get like diced up into pieces and die really easily. That happened to me in a run. So you want to be very careful when you flash into that room. Make sure when you go in, you try not to go near them. And if you have to, just do a falcon punch and you'll, uh, you'll be able to get past them. All right, so we're going to find out that Bard's dead. Bard. Skip that. Pick up the herb. Pick that up. Trigger the cutscene. Skip it. Go in. Get the vaccine. All right, Joe. Hang tight. All right. So now we're on our way back. We're gonna have another Hunter Gamma to deal with. We're just gonna skip him. But he can chase us through the door, so you gotta be careful. You gotta keep an eye on him. I think we're okay. All right, we made it out just fine. Sometimes you can take damage there and it gets kind of gross. But great. All right, go inside, vaccinate Jill. Skip the cutscene. Terrell shows up, and now it's time to do battle. So, we're going to do a little bit of management here. Uh, yeah, we can dump this. Keep that, keep all that. Um, this is the last time we're going to use Carlos. Sorry. Last time we're going to use Carlos, so... Yeah, just keep that in mind. Take the grenade, and that should be fine. Uh, we'll take an extra first aid spray as well. All right, so we're gonna save one more time. This is like a safety save because this section gets really, really dicey, especially if you can't kill the gammas quick enough. But that's why we're taking the grenade. Okay. Go ahead and start the gauntlet. And once we are here, you wanna just start killing zombies. So we're starting this at an hour eight. You want to try to be selective with the guns that you're using. Obviously, the AR is the most important. There's a ton of ammo just all around the place, so be sure to pick all that up. Okay. Kind of that was kind of the first wave, so now more are gonna come through. Keep an eye. There's four windows that they can come from. Two on the long wall, one on opposite sides. Or, yeah, two on opposite sides. Alternate side parking is in effect. All right, there's plenty of ammo, plenty of first aid sprays, but you do want to be careful not to, like, waste ammo if you can. And try not to, like, sit too close to zombies. Because, you know, they do explode, they do go away, but, you know, sometimes you can run into it where, like, you thought they were dead and they are not, but... Usually, like, ten or so AR bullets will do the trick. Eventually, the lights will go out, and Terrell will ask you to find the breaker. This means a Hunter Gamma is coming out. It's going to come out of this door. When it does, you want to toss the grenade. 
that'll one-shot it. Go inside. Hit the breaker. The zombie will fall. Start picking up the other grenades. There's also an herb here and a hit pouch. This guy is a nemesis zombie, so make sure you dump enough bullets into him. Damn. Okay. Really didn't see that coming. So, yeah, you want to be careful not to, like, get stuck in here. Another Gamma is going to spawn. It's kind of hard to tell when he does. So just be careful. For the gamma, he's coming soon. Of course, be very mindful of the nemesis zombies. Sweet Jesus. is. You gotta be very careful with him. Toss the grenade. He'll die. Alright, now, when the zombies breach the door, more ammo is going to spawn in, the, in this little room here. So once the shutters go down, you want to come over here, pick up the detonator, and then place the detonator. Toss the grenade. That should kill a bunch of them. Zap the switch, and then we can just sort of ride this out. Go ahead and pick up some more grenades. Got to ride out the timer, but we did good. Go ahead and throw a grenade for good measure. And that's it. That's the whole gauntlet right there. We did it. Great job. Okay, we're going to wake up as Jill. And it's going to be time to do nest. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to pause right away and do a hard pause. We're at an hour 14. I want to see where I was last time. I just want to compare my time here. We have about 31 minutes and I want to judge whether or not we can get the, the Magnum. Sorry, I just gave me a minute. I'm just reviewing footage here. My gut is telling me no, but I do just want to check. 117. Okay. No, we're not going to get the Magnum. Um, it's really just not going to be worth it. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Dump that. Dump these. Dump that. Dump that. Dump this as well. Okay, so we need now... Take some shotgun shells, and we need the lockpick once. Okay, we'll take Carlos's handgun. Okay, that's equipped. Okay, so the Magnum takes about three minutes to get, so I'm just not going to get it. Pick this lock. There's going to be a zombie behind you. Just, 
Let's try to dash to the door. Okay, we're on our way to nest. We have about 30 minutes. Okay. Let's pick up uh, explosive gunpowder here. Explosive B. I'm going to hit the switch for the elevator. There is a Mr. Charlie near that forklift right over there. He's on the forklift between the actual cab and the and the fork. Okay. Stand over here. This is where the lift is going to let us out. Okay, we're gonna call this next lift. How is it no one in the hospital ever noticed all this? I like how Jill asks this question, and yet RPD had the literal same exact thing underneath it. So, I, I, you know, like, who is she to judge? Who are you to judge, Jill Valentine? All right. Cool. <clears throat> so not getting the Magnum means that we have to deal with the Pale Heads in a bit of a different manner. They take three shotgun shells each. There's a hip pouch over here. What we need to do is we need to dump a lot of what we're carrying. We need at least three inventory slots. Okay. So once you have that, you want to head in here. Then you want to head towards this elevator over here. And then once you press this switch, the fuse box is going to blow, and then we need to go collect the fuses. You get an achievement for doing this under five minutes, so if you're looking to do that, just follow this route, and you'll get it. A pale head's going to drop. We don't need to worry about him. Just keep mashing X on this thing, and then maybe dodge to the right, just in case. Okay. He's going to try crawling towards us. We're not going to worry about him. He will eventually stand up. He'll be standing up uh, when we're on our way back, so... So, let's break those open, pick up the fuse, pick everything up. There's going to be a couple dogs here. We're going to want to deal with them. There's going to be a second one. Over here. Deal with that guy. Shimmy through these. I'm gonna pick up the red herb. Let's go ahead and combine it. Great. We're gonna come up here and then we are going to head over. We're not gonna go through that door just yet. Instead, we're going to head over here, walk through this area, and then we're going to call this lift. And now there's going to be a forced combat encounter, but we are going to skip it. And the way we do that is by knowing exactly where we need to go. Let's pick up this high-grade gunpowder. It's very important. Okay. Okay. Just head for this fuse box. Don't worry about the zombies coming out of here. None of them are going to lunge to us. Pick up the fuse, and then on the way back, we have to deal... Or a hunter beta is going to come out, but we're not going to deal with him. Instead, just run straight for the ladder. Wow, that zombie got alarmingly close. Head straight for the ladder, and once you get onto a ladder, you cannot be hit. This is not Dark Souls. Thank God. Okay. Okay. Head on through, and then we are going to go through this doorway here. I regret not bringing the grenade launcher. You usually need it. Okay, head through this door, and then down. There's going to be a Hunter Gamma here, but uh, we should be able to successfully ignore him. Right? 
He has been ignored. Get to the ladder. Now, small chance the pale head is right through this door. Okay, good, he's not. Unlock this door. Head through, this is the safe room. Okay. All right, so there's, come on, jump. There's a chance we might get licked here. God damn it. Go ahead and heal. Okay, place the fuses. Oh my goodness, this guy's like on top of me right now. Oh shit. Okay. And then ride the elevator up. Wow, that was kind of ridiculous. Okay. And then you just want to touch this control panel to trigger the cutscene. If you pick up the Magnum, don't forget to um, get the long barrel. It's in a case. Right. Okay. Just making sure there's nothing else over here. Okay. So we're at an hour 21 now. So we have 24 minutes to beat the game. I think we're doing all right. I think we'll actually get this. I don't know why Jill can't run here. It's so frustrating. Sure you don't need to stop? Stop and do what? I got your back. All right. Let's get this done. All right. Trigger the cutscene. Terrell will die. That's okay. And now head into nest two. We're going to head into the safe room, do a tiny bit of inventory management. We got the gunpowder. Go ahead and combine, go ahead and combine. Combine. Oops. Combine. Great. Get explosive A and explosive B. Combine these, make some flame rounds. Take out more handgun ammo. Take out the mine rounds, that's a big one. And of course, take out the grenade launcher. So what we gotta do is we gotta get two pieces of the vaccine. USB key and two vaccines, yes. Great. So we're going to head up here. We're going to grab the USB key. Then we're going to get the two parts of the vaccine. Okay. Great job. I haven't done this without the Magnum before, so we're, we're going to see how this will go. Place the USB key. Okay, head in here, grab this part of the vaccine. I'm doing my best to conserve shotgun shells here. Sweet Jesus. Okay, head through here. down here. There's going to be a zombie over here that we're going to need to kill. We don't always have to, but... Okay, drop him. See what's in this box real quick. 
First aid spray. I'll take it. Okay, so what we want to do next is take out the grenade launcher. Oh, hand scanner. Take out the grenade launcher. And we need mine rounds. So you don't want to use all of these mine rounds. You want to be very, very strategic because mine rounds will come in handy for the next Nemesis engagement. So we're going to get some zombies coming out of here. Oh, there they are. Wait for the pale head to follow. There he is. Oh, that's not a pale head, actually. God damn it. I mean, we know that there's a pale head in here, so there he is. Pick up this part of the vaccine. Hopefully, we can make it out quick. Great. Okay. So, load up on some mine rounds because we are going to have to fight some hunter gammas. I'm going to combine these two parts of the vaccine. What you want to do is you want to try to stick a mine round to one gamma, and then it'll blow up the other one. we need that, but I'm going to take it. Alright, so we are pretty low on ammo right now. So we do need to be diligent about what we're doing. I guess we're not that low. Yeah, we got plenty of flame rounds. Let's switch over to those. That's okay. As long as we can get out of here. All right, we're good. Great. All right, we made it out. Let's go sit the size of the vaccine. Finish nest. We have 17 minutes to beat the game. I think we can do it. Feeling all right. Okay, so the vaccine synthesis is mid, high, low. Just had to consult my notes. Mid, high. And that's it. Get the vaccine, trigger the cutscene, and we're good. All right, head to the cubby. Skip the cutscene, hold forward. Sight. Okay. All right. I have no use for that. Take the explosive rounds, and do we have any more mine rounds? Probably not, right? Take this handgun instead. Okay, cool. So we're going to save here. 
This is our fourth save. We save one more time before the next nemesis. All right, actually, what we're going to do real quick. Dump this first aid spray. I'm going to pick up this one. Just so we can uh, have another one later. All right, so the trick with this nemesis fight is to basically do the same thing as stage two. <laughs> so the camera bug uh, persists in this fight, so just dodge whenever you can to get rid of it. So there's a lot of ammo around the room, so don't be shy. Don't be shy picking this up. Okay, he will run around the room, and then this is your cue to take out the mine rounds. Watch it, you've got company. Actually, for this, we're just gonna do it the correct way. I'm gonna wait till he stops moving. Shoot the little creature. Oh, God. Wow, okay, so Nemesis actually just saved me, believe it or not. Right, so he, he's going to do his little thing again. Shoot a mine round near where he's going to be. Oh god, we're out of ammo. Okay, not great. Got some more incoming. So basically, any hit is gonna, yeah, bring us near death. Get up, heal. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Oh God, damn, dude. All right. No idea how to dodge that. God damn it. We gotta start switching. Nemesis can kind of help you out in a lot of places. Yeah. 
ahead and get this mine round off. Yeah, that charge is kind of crazy, honestly. All right, cool. So we got him. All right, we have 10 minutes. I really think we can do this, actually. So I've never actually killed him without Carlos doing what he needs to do. That's, that's kind of nice. All right, so you need to dump everything except for your pistol. The shotgun is useless. All this stuff is useless. It's all about the pistol. You also want to bring a ton of healing. Ton of healing. Bring as much healing as you can. Even if you got to combine your old herbs, there's no point in keeping them. The triple herb is as good as the others. Is as good as a first aid spray. Okay. So we're going to save for the last time, and then we have about... Less than 10 minutes to kill the final nemesis. Actually, we don't discard that. All right, yeah, we got nine, eight and a half minutes to do this. So there is a ton of ammo around this fight for us to use. So you want to turn around, open the box, and then start picking stuff up. Okay, once the box is open, you want to use it. Shoot it. Skip the cutscene. Okay, now we need to kill the pus sacks. Basically, every hit that Nemesis does is a one shot. Tried to dodge that too early. Sweet Jesus. Got hit by that. And every time you active dodge, it'll automatically target the next pus sack. So once the final pus sack explodes, that's your cue to go to the power source, start pushing it in. On hardcore, you can only push one power source at a time. If you try to do more, you will die. Sure to pick up some extra ammo. I don't know how that wasn't an active dodge. Okay. Head over, push the last one, or the last one on this side, and then we're gonna work on the final segment. Got seven minutes left. Be sure to heal up again. Grab some more ammo if you need it. There's plenty. Once that's down, head over. Oh, no, 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 come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Head over to the final power source. I hope that that didn't just screw us. I think we're okay. I think we're gonna be okay. Yes, okay, so just be careful. You do wanna watch out. Okay, grab the railgun. 
shoot it. That is the sickest thing I've ever seen. I, I really love the way she does that. I think that's such a sick, sick set piece for this game. Like, that should have been on the box. No joke. I think it, it, it portrays her as such a badass. All right, just mash R2, skip the cutscene. All right, we have five minutes. We did it. We did it, ladies and gentlemen. We just got an S rank. No infinite weapons, no bonus items, nothing. That was it. We did it. It's doable. Skipping the Magnum was the key, although, honestly, we probably could have gotten it. Oh, maybe not. It, it would have been, like, down to the wire. I would have had to have, like, not taken some fights or something, but... All that's left is to shoot Mikhail and end the game. All right, 140.35. Get in the elevator, press the button, and ride it up. I want you to know that yesterday, so I've done this three times. I've done a bunch of like bad attempts where I reset, but I've done three full runs on hardcore. Yesterday, when I did my first one, I was over two hours and like 15 minutes. So I had to cut 30 minutes out. The second one was less than five. Shoot Mikhail. And end. So, and then my other run today was uh, one hour, 51 minutes. So I was very, very close. The one yesterday was over a half hour long, longer than it should have been. There you go. That's how you get an S rank. One hour, 41 minutes, four seconds. Sensational work on hardcore. I have no idea if this is doable um, on Nightmare or Inferno. I started checking out some Nightmare and Inferno runs, and they look unreal. Um, to the point where I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. Just being straight up with you. I, I have no idea. Um, that said, I do hope this guide helped you. Um, you can always use the Infinite Ammo Rocket Launcher, Infinite Knife, whatever you want to use. But if you want to do it in the way that you have to do an RE2 where you can't use that stuff, I just proved to you that you can do it. Um, I'm sure speedrunners of this game, like pro speedrunners, will uh, do this a lot better than I can, and that's fine. Maybe the, I'm sure the route will improve at some point, and I'm sure there's a lot more that I could have done. This was meant to be a layperson's guide on how to do this. Um, you know, watch your favorite speedrunners. Uh, I'm not one of them. Like, I don't actually speedrun this game. Um, but with all of that said... Uh, if you have any questions, please leave a comment. I'll do my best to help you out. I also have a new community Discord. At, uh, the link to that is in the description below. You can always hit me up there. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter and on Twitch. I stream several days a week. Um, just, you know, the schedule's on there, so just check that out. Um, yeah, so Twitter, Twitch, Discord, the whole thing. Uh, if you want to support the channel monetarily, please consider doing so by clicking the blue join button below this video or sub on YouTube, uh, whichever way you want to do it. No pressure. It's there. Um, but yeah, that's it. I'm Sweet Johnny Cage. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope this helped. You have a good one. See you next time. Bye-bye.